30 minutes ago, I used Google Maps to find this exact spot right here. Supposedly, there's a giant creek here behind me that we're gonna go out and fish in just a second, but this is the closest spot we could find to that creek. Oh, we got a cop coming. Anyways, today's mission is to use Google Maps to find a creek, a pond. It's, can these, can I just get a break? We're in like the middle of the country here. But well, like I was saying, today's mission is to use Google Maps to find a creek, a pond, and a lake. And the first thing on that list is the creek, which is why we're here right now. So I think there's only one thing to do, and that is to, you know, hopefully, I should have brought pants. Colton, why didn't we bring pants? Not very friendly back here, no one waved. We should have brought pants because, I mean, it looks like there's underbrush up to my waist and we got a ways to go back here. I mean, these cars just keep coming, Colton. Okay, none of them are waving. I, no, no honks, no waves, nothing, just disruption. But without further ado, let's go ahead and head back into the woods. Yeah, this is sick. Okay, I saw this on the map. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to find it that easily, but it looks like this trail goes right to it. I guess guess that would make sense. I feel like that's a rite of passage. Just gotta smack that thing for good luck. It's definitely apparent that people have been back here before. Ooh, take a look at this, Golden. We got some nice deer tracks running through here. Seems like we have a, a little furry friend hanging out with us today. Those look like fresh tracks to me. Maybe we'll see a big old buck back here. Oh man. Check this out, Colton. This is looking sick. I have not fished something like this in a while, guys. There's tons of rapids, tons of rocks. We're gonna get all up in this stuff. Probably should have packed water shoes. That would've made sense. Might get some trench foot by the end of the day. We're both screwed. <laughs> the on clouds aren't gonna cut it, I don't think. Dude, we should've done a, a catch and cook. We got a nice little fire pit. All this thing's built. I could definitely sit back and relax. We should've brought our cooking stuff. We should've done a catch and cook. Google Earth's challenge. I don't think that one's been done before. I can see myself right here. Stoking the fire, drinking a brewski, wind in my hair, It'll be a nice day. But if you guys like the idea of a catch and cook, let me know down in the comments below. That's something I've never done and have been wanting to do for a while on the channel. So let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do that. And drop a like if you're enjoying the video. But let's go ahead and get into the fishing. I'm ready to catch me a bass. All right, it is time to get into this, guys. I'm thinking we're gonna start out with a little square bill. I got the mock bouncer tied on, a little spinning rod. Felt like this would be perfect for these rocky rapids. Just tied this puppy on and I feel like we're gonna be able to get the job done. But I'm thinking like the general gist of this is gonna be target these pools underneath the waterfalls, underneath where the water's moving. Like I said earlier, we had some rain a few days ago. So we have a lot of water moving through here right now, which it's kind of at the perfect level if I'm being honest. Like it's just enough to have some rapids and stuff, but it's still calm enough where there's some big pools where these fish can definitely kind of hunker up and wait to ambush and stuff. So let's go ahead and work our way up through these rocks and get this puppy in the water. This is a little treacherous for, for Colton back there with the camera. Oh, I guess there's no time like the present to get our feet wet. It's gonna, it's gonna happen eventually, so might as well start now. The first step into uh, discomfort. Oh yeah, that's, that's the stuff. That's the stuff there. Try to stay as dry as we can though. Dude, I'm hoping I just see a fish in one of these pools that's like three or four pounds. Just trap, oh, there's one right there. Literally, speak of the devil. There's like a, not a three or four pounder, but probably about a pound and a halfer. Well, that's good. I couldn't tell if it was a large jaw or, or a small jaw. I don't know, he's somewhere up under one of these rocks. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Oh, oh. Oh, we had one! Oh no, that was like a, a little half pounder. She came skying out of the, the water there. I didn't even realize I had a fish on. I felt like I, oh, there we go, we got her. We got her, let's go. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? Fish numero uno, and guys, I believe that's a small jaw. Not a giant, but man, does it feel good to finally knock off the fish in our first location. But we're just getting started over here. There is a ton of water to explore. I really wanna go up to that waterfall and try some of these cool features around here and see if we can get some bigger fish in this. So let's go ahead and let this one go, and let's see if we can't get another one. Thanks for the bite there, little buddy. Woo! 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Colton. The little mock bounce are going to work. Good old reliable, man. Square built. Can't beat it. Well, seems like this pool is active. Let's see if there's uh, another fish hanging down out in here because that was two bites in a row right there in that good stuff. Oh, we on! Let's go! They're stacked. They're getting smaller, but they're stacked. This is going to be a good day. We're starting out hot. You can't ask for much more than that. Relax, relax. Fish number two, about <laughs> half the size of the first one. Another little small jaw. Thanks, buddy. Shoo! Okay. I mean, can we go three for three? I mean, surely we can't go three for three. That would just be crazy talk. That would just be crazy talk. Roll up on a, a new spot like this and just crank three in a row. You're in the tree, you're in the tree. Jump, just look at it and make sure you go away. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't fall. Well, I think we should keep moving. Uh, actually, just everything looks good. I just, I'm having a hard time not casting at everything. Work our way down towards the edge of, oh God, that was a big step. <laughs> that, that went in there, but we're gonna work our way over to the edge of the street line. Okay, I'm <laughs> I need to look where I'm going, honestly. <laughs> We're gonna try to find our way over to the edge of this tree line, see if there's some fish up in that shade. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that might be our best one of the day so far, Colden. That might be our best one of the day. Check that out, guys. Getting a little bit better, a little bit fatter, a little bit longer. The one thing I will say about fishing these rapids is there's definitely some big fish in here. Like if you fish stuff like this enough, like you're gonna come across some good sized fish, but there are a lot of small ones. That's just kind of the nature of the game when it comes to this stuff. But even though they're small, they live in these heavy currents and stuff. So they fight really, really good for their size. But I got that out and that's definitely looking like our best one so far. A nice, fat, future, big old smallmouth. I, I bet you this sucker grows to at least three pounds. I mean, she's been eating. She got a little chunk on her, a little girth. Football season's right around the corner. All right, there you go, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. Just getting a little bit better, one fish at a time, working our way up. I mean, the big one's gotta be up with the waterfall. Am I right or am I right? So it looks like there's actually a way to get up on top of this dam over here. Uh, we have some kind of contraption for the dam itself. If you want to pan that way, Colton, take a quick gander at it. I'm hoping we can actually walk across the top of this dam because I'm assuming there's going to be some deep water right on the edge of it. And hopefully there's a few fish kind of stacked up against that dam wall. Let's go ahead and give that a, a shot. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. Just, you know, look at your feet. Don't get too ahead of yourself and you should be able to stay dry for the most part. We made it to the dam. It was a journey, but we're here. Oh, careful now. Let's just stick this here and start climbing. Oh, I knew these long legs would come in handy eventually. There we go. All right, we're up here. Boom, bada, bing. All right, Colden, your cool. turn. We're gonna we're gonna bring you up. Drop a like for for Colden going yeah. through all going through all of this yeah, to get the shot. He's dedicated to the cause. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing, Colden. We got some deep water it's moving we had actually have a nice current coming underneath this dam right now and i think this is where they actually release the water and it seems like it's a little bit open right now so let's go ahead and throw this thing across here see if we just get absolutely smashed i feel like this is where we catch a big one I'll give this one more cast go past this corner down here Nothing, man. We tried. That's all you can do at the end of the day. Sometimes they want to bite, sometimes they don't. Okay, off we go. Down the damn wall. Well, guys, looks like we came to the end of the road on this waterfall. Uh, Cold, if you uh, pan to your left, does not look like we're crossing that. Uh, just a uh, little treacherous. There's a lot of really fast moving water. There's good footholds, but there's no handholds. And I don't want Colton to try to cross with that camera. We're gonna stop here, take a few casts, see if we can't get one right here. And then uh, 
go back down to those rapids and see if we can't catch one more fish before we get out of here. So let's go ahead and get off this dam and try some more of these rapids. Go ahead and put my tackle box right here and let's get that mock bouncer back out of here and see what we can get going with that. Now we're gonna switch it up though with our mock bouncer color. I actually wanna go with this little guy right here. This is just more of like a crawfish pattern. There's definitely a lot of crawls up in these rapids and rocks and stuff. So I think this could be a good option for us to throw. Go out here to this big slow moving water patch i don't know how deep it is it doesn't look crazy deep but there definitely could be a few fish lingering around in here it's worth a few fan casts i like that this bouncer is running a little bit better than that last one i binged it off a tree and it kind of started running sideways and i don't have any pliers with me to correct that it was giving me a little bit of trouble there towards the end Yeah, yeah, big one, big one, big one. Let's go. Oh, it's a huge one. It's a huge one. Oh my God, Colton. This one's a giant. Let's go. Oh my gosh, like a three, four pounder, three, four pounder. Oh, it might be five. It might be five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, all the way up to the waterfall. We got a freaking birth. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Now that is what I'm talking about. I don't think she's gonna go five, but that is a four pounder all freaking day. Large jaw too, we haven't caught one so far. And she was just lurking right there in the waterfall. I mean, goodness gracious. Get that water running through your gills, baby. Check this fish out, guys. That's why we come out here. That's why we try to explore and find new spots to come across beauties like that. You know, all these little holes, all these small fish, you just gotta be patient. If you work this stuff long enough, you're gonna come across some big fish like that. She absolutely crushed that mock bouncer. First cast up there in the waterfall, smashed it. This is definitely the bait of choice. It seems like out here today, I threw that work bait up in there like probably five or 10 times, nothing. First cast with that thing, an absolute behemoth. I actually have a scale with me today. My guess is, uh, like four, four and a quarter, four and a half. She's not that long, but good gracious, is she fat. See what it is. Three pounds, 14 ounces, just shy. Just shy of four pounds. I don't know, she, she could be four pounds on a good day. I'm not gonna rewear. We've had her out of the water for a second, trying to get Colton over here with the camera. That is a beautiful river fish, guys. Can't ask for much better than that. And a large jaw, man. Just doing what they do best. Hiding, waiting for something to come by, and she cranked it. Let's go ahead and get this big, beautiful fish back on in the water. Take one last good look at her. Let her sit here in the water. Get some get water on those gills. Let's guide her right back on in there. There she goes. <laughs> she got a little wet there, but that's how you do it, guys. Let's keep it going. Well, guys, we tried our best. We caught a big one, and I think it's time to go ahead and move on to our next spot. We're gonna go ahead and head on out of here and pull up Google Maps and try to find our next spot. I think we're gonna go to a pod next. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna find a spot the second we get out of here. Off we go. Do you know what you want? Yeah. Pulling up on cookout. You know you get. You know you gotta reward yourself after catching a fish like that. We're about to whip up a cookout tray, a little cheeseburger, a little corn dog. They got some goodies here. What I got for you? Hey, um, can I do a cookout tray with a cheeseburger, a corn dog, and Cajun fries? I want to drink. Can I do a cheer wine? Dude, cheer wine is a must. Dude, if, if you're you in the south, you gotta you gotta get cheer wine. I mean, it's a it's a rite of passage. Oh shoot, my wallet's in back here. Oh, oh. this is gonna be fun. Oh gosh, not as limber as I once used to be. <laughs> oh gosh. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. It's time to chow down and find this next spot on Google Maps. Just pull up in here. 
Alright, that's me. That is you, Colden. Appreciate it, dog. Get that chew on, dude. I am thirsty. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that. <laughs> that's cash. I just can't believe you won. <laughs> yeah, that's your payment for today, Colton. Doesn't get much better than that, if you ask me. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this, guys. We're gonna go ahead and try to find a pond on Google Maps while we eat here. Pull this sucker up. Google Maps out here, in the country, a little bit outside of Charlotte. I think that would actually be funny if you like found a private owner's pond and like knocked on the door. <laughs> We're debating whether we should try to find a private pond and go ask like the homeowner if we can fish it just to get into some really juicy stuff. The first thing would be finding a private pond. I don't, there's just not that, there's just not a whole lot of ponds around here, if I'm being honest. You go right. fish the cemetery? A cemetery? Yeah. That could be kind of fire, honestly. Oh, dude, look at this private pond. What if we just rolled up in here? <laughs> honestly? <laughs> with, all these, with all these mansions. Bro, there's like golf courses on there. Bro, these people have a pad. They got a boat garage, a private pond, a giant freaking swimming pool with like a water slide, hot tub, like a full spread. This house looks like it's 10,000 plus square feet. This huge yard, a private golf course thing, and a baseball field. I don't think I've ever seen a house with a baseball field. <laughs> so we found a second pond that is close to this juicy private pond that might be our plan B if we get booted from there. This one's actually at a cemetery. I don't think I've ever fished a cemetery pond. It's very small. You know, we got some 10 pound, 10 pounder spirits in here. <laughs> we're gonna go try to get into this private pond, see if they're gonna let us in there. And if not, we're gonna whip over to the cemetery and, and see if we can't catch a, you know, a little haunted bass. All right, let's get after it. <laughs> well, we're pulling up into the, the street. It said private drive, no trespassing, but there's a lot of houses on this road. So I feel like we can be discreet at least come check it out. Oh, there's a gate down here. It's open. I don't know. Can we drive through? I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. I feel like these people are going to be weird. Oh, that's someone's like personal gate here. Oh, oh there's gate. a big gate. All right. I don't know. Let's um, let's drive down and uh, press the uh, call button. Please wait while your call is connected. Let's try it. Oh, the gate open. What? <laughs> well, we got access. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Should we just start fishing? The spot looks really juicy. Let's get a little shot of that, Colden. Um, this place is sick. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, that's, gosh, this looks so juicy. Oh, I see a guy. You see a guy? Yeah, right there. Hopefully it's fun. Hello, do y'all live here? Um, quick question. We were just, uh, I actually have a YouTube channel. My name is Fletcher. Uh, I make fishing videos. We were making a video. We were just trying to find cool spots on Google map and see if we could go fish them. Um, if, uh, we were wondering if we could come out here and fish today. Yeah, no. Not, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I figured it was a long shot, but worth an ask. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate, uh, yeah, your time. Absolutely, fellas. Catch something cool. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Well, as expected, that did not go as planned. Hey, maybe we'll come back out here another time. Maybe someone watching this video knows who lives out here. This place is insane. I mean, this place looks like a country club more than it does a, a private house. I'm not even really sure like, like what is going on out here. Looks like we're uh, we're, we're fishing a cemetery. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, and go fish that thing. Well, this is the first, guys. Can't say I've uh, ever fished in a cemetery. So let's try to find our way down to the pond and see if there's <laughs> any bats lurking around here. There's a posted sign. Um, we're just not gonna read it, you know? I think that's the game plan. It says, please fish here. It says, please fish here. I think, I think that's exactly what it said, Colden. But let's go ahead and give this a shot. This guy looks friendly. Can we fish your pond? Can we fish your pond, man? I think that was a yes. You think that was a yes? We're taking it as a yes. He's kind of giving me the side eye now. We good? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, we got permission from the duck, so I think we're good to go. Uh, this pond has a lot of algae and stuff. We're definitely gonna have to switch gears here. I'm actually gonna try top water first. I have like a little spook tied on, and I wanted to try throwing that across while I got it tied up right now. Let's give this a go. Do you think he wants a hush puppy? Oh, dude, he'd probably love a hush puppy. Dude, just give him a hush puppy. 
but I gotta bribe him. This is our this is our peace offering. Larry. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're good. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna kind of start over here in this far side. Try to work at the edge of this. Oh, we're about to get a nice full thing of grass and treble hooks. Yep, gonna need a better cast than that. I feel like this is about to be a theme here today. Oh, I actually see a baby bass. Okay, that makes me feel confident. There are bass in here. I saw one on Fish Brain. Now I saw one with my eyeballs. So we got proof of life and uh, living organisms in here. So now it's just time to, to find what they want to eat. I don't know if it's going to be this walking bait, but it, you know, it's worth a shot. It's already tied up. All right, yeah, we got way too much grass going on. I think we're gonna have to go soft plastics here, or maybe a frog. I'm gonna tie a frog and soft plastics on. Well, we don't have scissors, so we're gonna have to chew th through this with my teeth. I hate cutting braid with my teeth, but we're gonna have to do it. Sorry, Grandma. We gotta do it. I know my teeth aren't tools, but today they are. Chewing through 50 pound braid is not the most fun thing in the world. But this dude is straight up about to sell some car insurance. Let's find us a frog and tie that on. Let's get that off to the side and let's rig up a worm. Let's not put that where Larry can get to it. Bro, what do you think he's saying? Dude, he's telling me there's a 10 pounder back in that corner. <laughs> All right. All right, Larry. We're gonna go catch a fish now. Thanks for the uh, hospitality. Let's go down here. I'm thinking this is definitely the move. Gotta get over here somewhere where these fish are gonna be. Whoa, yo, it just rolled up hot. Dude, the world, the world's rendering. That one rendered in a little late. There's a lot of fish in here. Like there's tons of little bluegill and stuff. I feel like we could definitely get a bite. All right, boom bada bing. I feel like we just gotta like beam this thing out there like a little bit deeper. Keep expecting to see like a skull or something like just sticking up through the through the moss Let's try to zing this thing all the way out oh that's not what we wanted kind of hard i just gotta beam it really low because the power line we got one we got one come on come on oh no it came off no <laughs> dang it oh we just need to catch one fish out here, guys. And we had our opportunity. It didn't seem like a giant, but certainly was a fish. All right, it's personal now. All right, I might walk out there a little bit, Colton. I think we're committing to it. See how hard this bottom is. It's a little soft. It's a little soft, but we gotta, we gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, just snake. Oh, hey, watch out, Flip. Oh, oh, good look. That looked like a hospital visit. That's a water moccasin, I think. Good looks. Bro, this place is haunted. I told bro. you. <laughs> bro, they tried to put me in the ground out here. <laughs> I'm telling you. Dude, I think Larry set us up, dude. Hey, look at him just come right up here in my fishing spot. Good news, the staff does not seem to be too concerned about us being out here. Yeah, oh, I got a pink fluke. Oh, that's him. That's him. That's him. I don't know if that's the big one, but that is a large jaw. That's what we came for. If we get him on the land, mission complete, baby. Caught a fish at the creek. We got one at the pond. We were hoping for a 10 pounder at that private pond, but we'll settle for a, for a dink a dink at the cemetery, I guess. <laughs> we appreciate all the bites that we get on this channel, though. We don't like to discriminate against a one pounder and a 10 pounder. We love them equally. Not really. I appreciate the bite there, little fella. Oh, okay. I was trying to be a little bit more graceful than that, but she she shook herself right out of my finger there. We're gonna take a few more casts out of here. We saw a good fish, so that's a little bit promising. You know, I might put like a 15 minute timer on my phone and we haven't caught anything bigger than that. We're gonna go ahead and move on because we are running out of daylight here, guys. We might even have to, to go out on the boat tomorrow for the lake part of this video because we spent way too much time at the creek because that was just way too much fun. That was a, just a, an epic spot. I don't get to fish a whole lot of stuff like that, so I was really thoroughly enjoying myself out there and if you guys have been enjoying the video make sure you drop a like down in the comments below and subscribe if you aren't already I know like 70% of you guys watching my videos on average aren't subscribed but should be so we would appreciate if you did that but let's go ahead and get this back in there and see if we can't catch that four pounder hold on let me go grab the pink fluke out of the car it's got to be the move you know pink fluke or just a white fluke or like a fluke Heck was that? We getting shot at? All right. Things 
starting to get weird out here. <laughs> oh my god. We got shots, we got Oh! Oh yeah, I see him. Was he aiming at us? Okay guys, I don't know what's going on out here. <laughs> we got some interesting things happening at the moment. Golly, we got gunshots, we got snakes, we got ducks. I mean, <laughs> what is going on in this video? This is just getting weirder by a second. You know, just another day in the life. But we got our pink fluke going to town now. I can see that puppy clear as day. <laughs> oh God, Cold, I think we need to get out of here, man. <laughs> this is a very interesting day of fishing. Oh, golly, dude. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Bad Whoa. omens. <laughs> we got bad omens left and right. All right, three more casts and we're out of here. I'm just watching out for slithery boy. Yeah, that snake is way too curious. Dude, he is just like, he's making himself way too much at home right here. Yeah. Pull up and find out. Oh yeah, you, he flinched. Two for flinching. Two for flinching. Yeah, that's what I thought, son. Bro, we gotta get Larry out of that water, dude. Hey. Dude, Larry, get out, my dog. Oh, dude, we gotta get Larry out in the pond right now. That snake's going that way. Can't have my boy Definitely. have a fatality. Gotta watch out for my dog. Larry, my, my boy. Larry, Larry. Yo, Larry, Larry, dude. I'm just trying to help my boy out. The snake is coming down the bank. I mean, at least we can scare him out of way. That snake is coming in hot. Dude, if, if Larry perished, I, I don't know what I would do. I mean, I'm jumping in and taking out that snake if he even touches my boy. Here he comes. Look at him. Pull up and find out. Pull up and find out. Get out of here, fam. Get out of here. Two for flinching. Yeah, keep on moving. Keep on moving. Slither on that way. Don't pull up on my squad like that. I got you, dog. Don't forget it, Larry. This is turning into like a flare farm video. <laughs> well, it was fun, Colden. It was fun. We're, we're leaving here alive. That's all I'm thankful for. We encountered snakes. We encountered bullets. I mean, we encountered a lot of things at this pond. Thankfully, we encountered a bass too. Got two nice little largies, but it is time to head on to the next spot. Let's go ahead and grab the boat. Find us a lake. It is officially the next day. We actually ran out of daylight and we're not able to actually go get the boat and find a place to fish yesterday. But we decided to come back out today and unfortunately we have some bad weather. Like the second we grabbed the boat, it started to rain on us and we've been trying to like dodge it and find a place to actually come out and been using Google Maps to the absolute of our best ability to find a place that is hopefully not gonna dump on us the rest of the day. So the lake that we ended up going with is called Moss Lake or also Kings Mountain Lake. I've known about this lake for a while and I wasn't exactly sure where it was, but today we actually decided to come out here and give this thing a shot. I've heard really, really good things about this lake. It's a good ways out there, but that's a good thing because hopefully this thing doesn't get pressured too much. Right now we're the only boat at the ramp. Actually, there, there's one other person. Outside of that, I can't complain. There's not another ramp on this lake as far as I know. So I'm hoping that things go well. But on the way, guys, we picked up the most elite snack, I think, that exists. I mean, Reese's Dipped Animal Crackers. I've never seen these in my life. Had to cop them. We're gonna throw these on the boat and hopefully our uh, fish are as good as these animal crackers are about to be. But without further ado, guys, I think it's time to go ahead and back to suck in the water. Hopefully catch a fish or two before the rain comes. And hopefully we find us a giant. <laughs> You're supposed to pull away. That's fine. All right, <laughs> let's pull away. Cue cinematic roll away. All right, guys. We have 
made it to our first spot here. I'm thinking what the game plan is, is we're gonna start at this primary point that's directly in front of me. And there's a nice cove off to the side of it with a bunch of docks and lay downs and stuff like that. So we're gonna start fishing this primary point, fishing this deep drop off. And if we don't have any luck with that, we're just gonna work our way around, fish some shallow stuff and see what happens from there. We're just gonna have to kind of pick apart this place as we go and figure out what the fish are doing. But I feel like this is a good place to start. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this trolling motor in guys it has been way too long since i've used this boat <laughs> this has not been the the best investment of my money but we are using it today and i uh need to is this running turn the trolling motor on there we go got our electronics up and rolling that live scope up see if we see anything kind of hanging out i turned this thing on and it looks like we have like a brush pile with some fish on it directly underneath the boat i might drop something straight down to it i wish i had a drop shot rigged up that's okay we can always tie one on if something else here doesn't work i think we're going to start with a 5xd though let's bust that bad boy out and let's back up and try to find that brush pile from a distance looks like it right there maybe Try that. Just gotta figure out where that. There it is. is that a fish? Oh, I hit it. I might have got a bite there. Let's go back through there. Definitely hit something. Oh, God, it just went right through a school of them. They all followed it. Ugh, shucks, man. Try putting it through there quick. See if I can't trigger that bite. Thinking about it. Oh, there's one. We're on, baby. We're on. Stay down. Stay down. Come on, fish number one. That did not take long at all, guys. First spot. And it looks like we got a spot. That makes three bass species for this video, guys. We got the largey, we got the smallmouth, and now we got a spotted bass, and not a bad one either. Definitely not a, a tiny one by any means. Let's take a closer look at what we got. You know, if I had to guess, guys, I'd say she's probably about a pound and a half. I know she's really long, but she's definitely a little on the skinny side. Looks like she's been caught a few times, definitely has a few holes in her mouth, but that did not take long at all. Basically, this first spot we rolled up on my gut instinct was telling me that there might be some fish staged up off of this deep point. So the fact that we got a bite right out the gate, maybe on like my fourth or fifth cast, is a good sign for how today's gonna go. I'm just <laughs> interested to see how much time we actually get to fish today because it's not looking great from the storm clouds here behind me. They're definitely starting to roll in, so we're gonna try to get it as many as we can before it gets too nasty out here. Let me bump it. But this is a nice start. Let's go ahead and get her back in. All right, here we go, baby. Let you on go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. That is so exciting. I haven't been out on the bass boat in so long and I haven't done any big lake fishing in a while just due to a lot of things. And the fact that we came out here first thing and just banked one right out the gate gives me a lot of confidence. Not too bad for a pond boy. I don't know why I just hooked that back on my rod. We're gonna, gonna need to keep on using that. <laughs> let's take that off and let's look for a few more fish staged out here. I'm still seeing a few fish with the live scope kind of hanging out in this area. Let's just kind of work this 5XD down these bank lines. This thing runs about 15 feet or so, and that's exactly where these fish are staged at. Let me put this down. Pick up the Rage Menace. Oh, nothing like ringing the dinner bell. <laughs> I just pelted that thing. Supper's ready. Here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. This is a really nice dock right here. All right, guys. Well, we made it to the back of this cove and we tried fishing all these docks and we didn't really have much of any luck at all. I, I think I might have had a bite maybe and that's that's a big maybe so we could definitely try some more of this but since it's so cloudy i really feel like these fish are going to be roaming right now i definitely think it's going to take some serious sun for these fish to really want to commit to these docks so i think the best thing to do right now is probably go target some main lake stuff i'm thinking about going and trying this hump that i saw on the maps seems like a really good piece of topography out there in the middle of the lake that is really isolated so i definitely feel like we could get out there and and hopefully get a fish to eat. But we're all strapped up. Let's pull up this trolling motor and head on out that way. Oh, you're gonna, this 
seems like a good spot to stop right here. We're just gonna put this trolley motor in and kind of work our way up here slowly. We could probably get a bite on top water out here. The, the top of this hump isn't super deep. I know it looks like we're out in the middle of the lake, but this hump comes up to only a few feet of water, enough where there definitely could be some fish willing to come up and eat something off of it. Let's pick up this sexy dog and see if we can make something happen with this. A little choppy out here, not too bad. Okay, it doesn't seem like they're wanting to come up for this. I don't want to waste too much time with the rain working its way towards us. So let's try something along the lines of a cranking. Just down. Let's, uh, let's try this jerk bait. Kind of like that. Kind of like what the jerky jerk has to offer out here. We got followers with the jerk bait. Come on, eat it. There we go. Got him. Got him first. Yes. Oh, good one too. Good one. Let's go. That's like a two and a half, three pounder. That might be a large mouth or a really big spot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, big mama. We cooking now, boys. We cooking now. Love that change up. And she cranked it too. Look at that mouth full of hooks. I think she got all three treble hooks in her mouth. Well, it looks like we got a large mouth. First large mouth out here. Definitely different than a spot, but that is not a bad one. I appreciate the bite there, mama. All right. <laughs> oh, there goes the GoPro. Oh, here comes the water moccasin. Slithery snake. 